Apple is denying reports that its operating systems iCloud and Find My iPhone were hacked after hundreds of nude and semi-nude celebrity photos were leaked after being stolen from the user's private accounts. Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and, and Selena Gomez are among the celebs whose pictures were posted on the web forum 4chan. Cybersecurity expert and Berkeley Veritronic Systems CEO Scott Schober has been following the story closely and joins us now. You know, Scott, I think the first thing is, why are you posting naked pictures of yourself anywhere if you don't want other people to see it? <laughs> That's the point, yeah. <laughs> you wonder that. Why are they even doing it? It doesn't make any sense to me at all, but it, it, it's happened, so. Okay, so how did somebody get hold of these pictures? Either they, either Apple was hacked or something was hacked. Yeah, fir first when the story broke, everybody thought, well, Apple was hacked, the, the iCloud or Find My Phone app was hacked. It, it appears to be more targeted attacks against celebrities where they looked for username, password, and then what, what the common question is, the security question. So hackers basically work and, in and, that. And if you're tenacious enough and you kept going exactly. at it. But, but isn't it, um, don't most of these systems have, if you try three or four times, you get locked out, and the controversy here is that Apple did not have that in place? Yeah, yeah and that's a good point that you bring up there. They had it so it was really endless. And you could use different programs like Brute and other things, so you can actually try thousands of combinations of passwords to actually get into someone's account. And that's probably what happened for these celebrities. They worked on this over a period of time, months or maybe even a year, collecting you all know, of these photos. I, I kind of have to wonder though to what point I mean is these people have a lot of free time on their hand because yeah. are they selling the photos yeah. are they is that what's going yeah, on that's exactly what it is on the black market in a sense on the internet that is they're selling it to get bitcoins and other things this digital currency where they can't be traced and they can get a lot of money for uh, compromised photos with different celebrities okay so let's say you're a user of iCloud what do you want to do to protect yourself? Well, number one, don't put any photos up of yourself. <laughs> that's, nude. Well, that's the first one. That's by, by the way, there should, we should say here, though, that the way iCloud works is let's say, you know, I wanted to take a naked selfie of myself on my phone, okay? My phone automatically will connect to iCloud and exactly. automatically upload the yeah. photos. Yeah, so you have a remote data center where this actually sits, or several remote data centers where it sits. Even if you think to delete it, it may still reside out there somewhere on a remote hard drive. So you got to be careful what you store on your phone there inadvertently on the cloud. So okay, so now, okay, so now the next thing, the more serious question is people have their contacts, they have a whole bunch of other information. You want to protect it. What's the best way? Well, number one, we should all do, whether we're putting up crazy photos or not, make sure we have a good password. We say this again and again and again. All these celebrities did not have two-factor authentication, which is simply username, a good password, and then when you enter that, it sends a text to your phone to enter yet another code. None of them did. Mm -hmm. That's why it's easy to breach their accounts. If somebody just simply took that step, they wouldn't have the problem. But that, that obviously wasn't the case here. So what we need to do is make sure we have a good password, 15 characters or longer. When you look at iCloud and you take a look at other cloud-based services, for example, like Dropbox, Google Drop, uh, others, Google yeah. Drop uh, how overall do you think they are from a security standpoint? And are there any ones better than others, frankly? You know, they're all pretty secure. Apple, Apple I, I'm a big endorser. I've got stock. I buy every mm -hmm. Apple product. They are secure, don't get me wrong, but it's really the user that has to implement a level of security. Monitor what you post and have a secure password so nobody can hack your iCloud, your Google, whatever the case may be. In the final be. 20 seconds, Scott, what will the fallout be for Apple on this? Well, I think it'll give it more publicity. September 9th, there's a lot of announcements. The stock will continue to rise. Okay, Scott Schober from Berkeley Veritronic Systems, as always. Thank you. Thank you.